it's the morning of my breast augmentation. I think we're getting ready to be late. I don't know where my husband is, <laughs> but he is my ride and we still have to get my medication. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Cause he hasn't, have you seen Marcus? Did you look in the garage? No. He's got some weights. Okay, I'm not sure what he's doing, but we need to leave right now. Um, I haven't drank or eaten anything since before midnight last night. And that's for the anesthesia. So here we go. I'm packing me some water for afterwards. Let me yell at him. Let me yell at him right now. We're, we're gonna be late. Right now? I have to be there at 10.30. I still have to pick up my medication. Oh my God. <laughs> I see. I had no idea you were out here working out. Let's go get these tears. Oh Jesus. Oh my God. We're never on the same page. Help us, Father. That chick angel. Okay, we are going to. Why did he do that? Stupid. These motorcycles. Trying to die. Ain't no motorcycles. Mopeds, I mean. <laughs> Don't get a, don't get offended got, like got one gear. No but sorry. why'd you get offended as nah, if it was yours? Because he's an idiot. <laughs> About to die on these dang streets because he ain't paying attention. We are going to be on time to my check-in. We got um, my medication. Only came to seven dollars and sixty-eight cents. That's probably why she was like, "You really want to go pick it up elsewhere?" But I didn't know how. I never. Other than for minor things, I've rarely ever been prescribed any medication. That is just not the life that I live. Um, we're on our way. Here's, check in, Marcus. How are you feeling? Uh -huh. Sometimes I think he still doesn't know that we're family vloggers. <laughs> you have to actually talk. You was talking. Okay. You're on screen now, too. I talked to them all the time. I was going to talk to them once you went in there. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel nervous or anything yet. I'm sure I will. I don't like any of this. Oh, see, I've never heard you say that. I don't like you going to get in surgery. You knew that. Of course, it's surgery. You go under. And then something I'm like, yeah, go sleep. I don't like any of it. It's a very strong statement. I'm just saying I've never heard you say it. Make sure she's talking and we go in the right direction. You go in the right direction. I've been to this office three or four times now. Um, I still not nervous. I'm low-key excited. Well, I'm just putting her right there so that you can also see what she's saying. Get your receipt. The met all is junk. I already all up in my truck. Get your this, mask. Have it in your hand and ready. This is goodness his, gracious. This is nervousness. It's nah, it ain't. Is you bringing yeah. clutter to my serenity? This is his nervousness. See how serene it is. And listen, you just hear motor. I know he needs to thank the Lord every day of how much <laughs> I love him. I do. That is the only reason why I put up with this. <laughs> The only reason why I'm like, oh my God, my heart truly does love this man because I'd be like, I want to choke him out. Um, I'm low key excited, and I think that's where I'm going to try to keep it. I could go down a rabbit hole of 
What if I regret? How am I going to respond to everything? How's my body going to respond? It's never had any foreign object in it other she than said, babies. Right, right. <laughs> That's what I heard. Okay. <laughs> but instead, I'm going to be excited. This is something I've wanted to do for a while. And now we're doing it. Yay! So what's good fam, I, uh, I'm actually right across the street, so Angel thought, I don't know, let me get this big. Angel thought that they were going to let me uh, stay until they, after they marked her up and everything, um, as soon as they called her back, they were like, nope, that's the end of the road for him, so this is Angel texting me now. Um, so I ended up leaving, uh, I'm right up, literally right across the street, the doctor's office is right there, I'm looking at it. I'm at this little spot in Beverly Hills called, uh, uh, it's called Nosh of Beverly Hills. The Nosh of Beverly Hills. No, the Nosh of Beverly Hills. So that's where I'm at now. If you grab me something to eat, you just order me a veggie omelet, and water. I wish they had mimosas because I would just sit here and kick it till she got out. She just sent me a text. That's her text. <laughs> anyway, let me respond to her. Um, now I'm gonna sit here and let my anxiety build up, I guess. That, that's what's gonna end up happening while I wait on her. This is gonna be, I think, two, three hours before she's ready, ready, like to come out. Which the procedure is not long at all, but the waiting, maybe four hours total. 11 30, 12 30, 1 30, maybe two hours, I don't know. But we'll see. But anyway, fam, I'm gonna sit here and eat me some brunch, breakfast, or whatever. Find some places to walk around here. Ain't no point in me driving nowhere um i might be able to do some shopping down here more christmas shopping i thought i no nah, i think i'm done because i don't know i spent enough money yeah i don't spend too much money i ain't doing no shopping but i could look i could look though okay, i'm gonna show y'all my veggie omelet pretty basic um i won't eat the toast at all but it's just a veggie omelet um and hash browns nothing special it's a it's a nice size omelet though i am happy about that we could be trying to, uh, we be trying to cheat me on the uh, omelet, you know, you gotta, you gotta have enough egg with the omelet. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this and then figure out what else I'm gonna get into. So what's good, fam? Uh, so left the uh, spot that I was eating lunch and breakfast at and I hit up Angel and I was like, hey, just out of curiosity, I was like, you know what time you'll be starting and like how long it'll be? She was like, it's probably best for you to go to a mall or something. Um, Cause it's gonna be like two hours, which I don't mind. Once after they start, it'll be two hours, and I think it's like a 45 minute wait after she comes out of anesthesia. Uh, after the anesthesia, anesthesia, what's it called? Anesthesiologist, anesthesia wears off. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I found that I'm not down here a lot, but I found this Neiman Marcus. This five floors. It has five floors to this thing. Not small floors either, and it's fully equipped with a bar. I didn't want to because I worked out this morning, but uh, the bartender is very heavy handed. Uh, I wasn't expecting this. I probably won't drink all of this because I still got to drive Angel. And I worked out this morning. Uh, so I feel like I'm messing up my workout and I want to finish that workout once I get home. But it's just killing the time. I did just a little bit of shopping. Just, just a little bit. Um, so I'm about to sit here and start my update thread to the specific people that uh, Angel wants me to update. So I'm going to start that thread and send that out individually to people, but at least it'll be a group in my phone and everybody ain't getting responses from everybody else. Um, I did do some shopping issues, my end up going back. Uh, but anyway, I got me some salmon tacos and some weight on those. They got food. This, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to get you liquored up and full so you go spend a bunch of money. I did my shopping first. Um, but now I ain't gonna drink that much. But uh, fingers crossed, hope she's doing okay. I will see her shortly. I'll holler back at y'all in a second. How long would it take for the anesthesia to kick in? Like, okay, time to wake up. Oh, that's the last thing you remember? Ah. It was a time lapse? It was a jump cut. Oh, my titties. There she is, fam. She's not feeling the best. But she's don't out. like groggy. She don't like feeling groggy. This is that. Come on, put me in my right mind. Yeah. 
I went, I got her two Starbucks this is my baby love drinks. It. I didn't know which one she wanted, so I just grabbed both of them. He go, I already know he about to be the best nurse I've ever had. The doctor's already gone. Yeah, it's late. I said, come on now. Come last time to I, me about my boobs. Last time I talked to y'all, it was... It was light outside. 12, maybe 1 o'clock at the most. And I'd already been waiting... I'd already been, you know, kicking it by yeah. myself for... And we don't know nobody lives out here. Nah. Well, my queen, but my queen... Put it here. this way, we dropped her off, I dropped her off at 10.30, it's now 5. Mm -mm -mm. My queen live out this way? <laughs> yeah, I talked to her. I didn't talk to everybody, I done updated everybody. Where's your phone at? It should be in my bag. Alright. I didn't take it out. Uh... So we on our way. Oh, no. My boobs. Right. Ah. Ooh. Uh -oh. ah. I gotta I gotta drive easy. Ooh. She's a little tender. I'm trying to drive easy. I know you do. I know you do. Do they have you strapped down? I'm in my little bra and I was gonna botch my nurse when she put it on. Oh, I thought they was gonna strap them down. Mm. No, they don't need to be strapped up, but they in the bra. Okay, you already perky. You feel like they look perky? Already. They look nice, they don't look unreal. <laughs> These look like a C more than a D. But I don't know. All right, fam. That helped already so much. We're drinking that? Yes. Yeah, no, I haven't had nothing to eat. Oh, yeah, you haven't. My mouth all dry. I bet. Because they done had that tube down your throat. I had a tube down my goddamn over. Mm. Ain't that something? I just feel like somebody should be carrying my breasts. Holding them up? Yes, doing this. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. This is no reason for you to apologize. I do not like rugged. Yeah, I ain't don't like not having my eyeballs be moving all slow. I be like, they should already be where I want them to be. Gotta get up and walk around and do stuff every two hours, mm. even tonight, so she doesn't uh, clot. Keep the blood moving. Keep the blood moving. Man, yeah, I mean, I can spit out a whole cotton sweatsuit with as dry as my mouth is. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! They're not crazy big. They look real. Yeah. Right? Like that look like somebody real boob over here. Mm-hmm. Tell my mama I'm out. Yeah. I did my bed. Go on, but they out. They, they were in there. Box 
this up and we're gonna box this up and I'm gonna be like Captain Boxes. Oh, no. Box me up. Help me. I can't go this way. This is way too curvy and bumpy. Oh, you thought, oh, because you were trying to avoid the four or five. I just it put on the first one that popped up. Oh, okay. It, well, it chose well, the quickest if route. If you go slow enough, it's not, you just, it's, we just got to know this yeah. is. You know this picks the quickest route. Yeah, let's just go slow on the route. All right. Mm. We get the four or five eventually, but it's, we got to go down through past, I think we're just taking us down past marking the school and all that. Oh, Oh, my boobs. They so sore. They be getting people Percocet. They gave me ibuprofen. You should ask for some Percocet. What did she say? I guess this is what he prescribed. Really? Yeah. Really, you dick. You don't understand. The precious cargo. The card for my implants and the warranty for them is in my bag. Alright. It's so scary. Holy boob cow. Oh my god. Hot. My hot hurt. Come on, people. Don't let no more of these assholes. Oh, and then you go to turn. I don't understand. Put boobs on board. These people lucky you in here out of surgery right now. Oh, they so lucky. These little sensitive, frail people on this side of California would be in for a rude awakening. Mm -hmm. 